Konnichiwa Minasan, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lost Stage! Why am I speaking like that? Well, because this is the game's equivalent to Japan. And we're gonna be visiting it today! Alright! If you've been wondering why I've been talking so much about Okami, you're probably going to find out very soon. This is Izumo. Oh, wow. Okay. Run away! Run away! No. no. Let's see. Got some crap we get cycling away over here. Kushinada? Hmm. I wonder what they mean by that. Hmm, what a pretty portrait you got there. Let's see. Ooh! Sham shears and ninja blades. Holy cow. Are those better for anyone? Uh, not better for either of you. <laughs> what about the ninja blade? Nope. If you remember from the last... Oh, no, sorry, that's the Assassin's Blade, not the Ninja Blade. Or whatever. Let's see. No, oh, you got War Gloves. Better for attack and defense. Yeah, sure, let's give it to Felix. Oh. Well, screw you too, game! I will, I will whine about that until the day I die, viewers. You got anything good by way of uh, equipment here? Oh, you got silver vests for the ladies. Uh, fine, we'll do it this order. We'll sell all our useless crap. Let's see. Do you even have any useless crap? Okay, fine. We'll get rid of the potions. Yeah, some of you are probably screaming at me in the comments for that, but... I'll be honest, potions aren't exactly all that valuable. Let's see, Robber's Blade can sell off, too. Oh, well that's part of the problem, isn't it, Jenna? You've got so much crap stacked on you that you don't have any room for <laughs> anything else. <laughs> Oops. That is what you would call my fault. Consolidate everyone's equipment soon. Eh, I guess it's really shame to get rid of Picard's captain axe over there, but whatever. Okay, so now let's actually buy some new armor for the ladies. Eh, I don't really care so much about the adept's clothes. Platinum circle, it's not much better for anyone, so don't worry about it. There we go. Better defense is pretty nice, especially for Jenna. Whoa. Huh. Well, I guess this Kushinata's gonna die pretty soon, huh? Anyway, let's see ya. Uh, is the Fujin Shield better for you? Yes, it is. So you get to have it. Make uh, Felix even more powerful because I'm definitely not showing any favoritism towards him. Nope! None whatsoever. Oh wow, look at all these bushes we can blow away. There isn't nothing in here, I'll eat my hat. We got a couple of antidotes. I don't have a hat, but if I had one, well, I'd, I'd have one. I'm not wearing a hat. Whatever, <laughs> never mind. Okay, I thought there would be something in there. But apparently not. Wow, there's a lot of people in this hut. Hmm. Ooh, treasure. A festival coat. Not really festive, though. Ooh, raises luck. Hell yes! 
you have on you before? The Ixian mail? Yeah, someone else can have that. So... Anyone who knows anything about Japanese mythology and or has played Okami can probably guess what's going to be happening in the next couple of episodes. So yeah, if you haven't already picked up on it, this is basically the first major story arc of Okami <laughs> represented in Golden Sun. Well, okay, I mean, it's from Japanese mythology, but... I mean, that's what Okami was based on, so... Because the legend of Orochi says so. That's part of the reason why I kept on talking about Okami so much in recent episodes. And if I make a whole bunch of references, well, you've been warned. I don't think he can, but... Well, I thought Susano was the hero. That was, uh, Uzume, by the way. Ha <laughs> I wonder what kind of hero they're looking for. Matarasu? No. No, she's not in this game. Um. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, Kushinada doesn't want to get talked to right now. Man, the music around here is so depressing. Yeah. Ah! Does that mean what I think it means? Yeah, it probably does. Oh, there's a rock here, but there seems to be something blocking the passage. That's not what I meant to use. Menu, thank you. Let's see, does moving this stone do anything? Well, it got that guy's attention. Oh, so even Kushinada's an adept, too. How many adepts have we got in this place, anyhow? Anyway, there's some ruins over here. We can't seem to be able to do anything about it. If we push in those pegs, we won't be able to get anywhere. Nuts. We'll just have to come back later. Oh well. Did 
I already checked this hut. Oh, it's just the sanctuary. I feel like there's an item I'm missing somewhere. I don't know, I just got the item suspicious feeling. Okay, guess I was wrong. Well, whatever. Let's just get out of here. So yeah, uh... Mount Mikage, or... Gaia's Rock, is where we need to go next. Take a wild guess who that hero who's gonna destroy the serpent is gonna be. Let me think. Who could it possibly be? Yeah, yeah, it's... it's us. So anyway, Mount Mikage, or Gaia Rock, is just over there, around these mountains. Yeah, it's another, uh, Gaia- it's another, uh, Ares Rock recolor. Ooh, nice music. Anyway, we could head straight into Gaia Rock from here, but I don't want to do that right now. In, in fact, you could actually run straight up and challenge the boss right this second. It's completed utter suicide, but you could run up and challenge the boss right now. I mean, if you did, he'd, he'd be virtually impossible for anyone who is incapable of dealing 4,000 damage in a single round. I'm not kidding, viewers. The game really wants you to go through the dungeon before you try and fight him. To the point where it punishes you for <laughs> not doing so. Anyway, we've got new enemies here. Fireworms in the Earth Rock. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, these guys are weak to water, I believe. Did I seriously write ice? Oh, no. I think they're weak to fire. Really? That doesn't make sense. Let's find out. They are weak to fire. Okay, that makes no sense at all. Well, whatever. They can use fire breath on your party, so kill them. Not that they're all that tough. So yeah, don't go straight up the middle unless you like dying. I thought about showing off what happens if you tried to fight the guy without doing what the game intends for you to do, but, uh, eh, nah. I don't think it's worth it. It's one thing to show me dying to a boss that I'm not used to dying to. Like, uh, like with the fight against, oh, there's Gygus Curse again. Like, with the fight against, uh, Briggs, a couple, several episodes ago, but... I mean, fighting a boss, it's just about impossible to beat. Eh. Well, I could have pleaded for laughs now that I think about it. Damn it! Oh well. This kind of reminds me of uh, Destiny's Drop from uh, from Dragon Quest VI. I've been watching. Uh, a let's play of Final Fantasy 6 or Dragon Quest 6, sorry. That's why I keep on mentioning it. It's been ongoing for a while now. Hmm. We need to get over there. We can just climb around on these vines. That's pretty divine. Uh, that was terrible. That was terrible even for me. It was terrible in its obviousness. Just like these nuts are terrible. Oh wow, really? I was looking at my treasure list. There really isn't a whole lot of uh, items we can get in here. Alright, let's just drop down. I think this just takes us back down there. Let's see, I believe these whites are new enemies, too. Are they? Yes, they are. These guys are also weak to fire. So, Jenna, why don't you go ahead and work your cycle beam magic? 
Or we could just kill them with Gigas Curse. Uh, more slow climbing. Oh look, more of the Moais. Hmm. Why are they blowing around wind? Skya Rock! Not... Air's Rock. Are we supposed to do what I think we're supposed to do? Holy crap, we are! Ha! That's cool! Uh, uh, no, no, just kidding. Does anyone else remember that scene in Star Wars Episode 3 with the Wookiees going, the, doing the Tarzan yelling? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Anyway, I guess that's how you're supposed to know to do that. Thank you for restoring my vision, game. Eh, the fireworms aren't that bad. They're really quite quite pathetic, honestly. Anyway, let's just shove that out of the way. Yeah, I think that thing just exists to show you that you can do that with the vines. Really clever, though. I have to admit. Maybe not so much clever as it is cool, even. What's down here? Eh, it's probably nothing, but I can't resist. Well, you can see the rest of the mountains here in the background. No, it's yours. You know, you go exploring, you might find some treasure. There's treasure everywhere. Swing for the fences. Uh oh. You could probably guess what happens if you let those things blow you off the uh, edge of the cliff. Bad things, viewers. Bad things. Whoa! Okay, that actually did legitimately surprise me. <laughs> Damn, jump scares. Jump scares are part of the reason why I don't play horror games, viewers. I hate them. I hate them a lot. Princess Somnia will not be let's playing a horror game. There will be no Five Nights at Freddy's on this channel. Ah! Aw, oh, come on, game! That's just not right. You can see the Moai statues at the bottom mocking me. Made it! All the way at the top of this thing, huh? I mean, with our unleashes right now, we're doing just about as much damage as we would be with Ragnarok. Which is kind of awesome, really. Do we actually need to move that rock? That's not what I meant to do. I 
don't know, I'm gonna move it anyway. Nope, not that way. Maybe we'll run into some different enemies while we're wandering around the place. Aww, oh, son of a... Oh, we've got more new enemies over here. Gnome mages. Pretty sure these guys are too... Water? Earth. They're weak to Earth. And they can delude you. That was a mean trick to play a game. It was mean and uncalled for. How wooed. Anyway, in this chest over here, we get an apple! Totally called it! No, no, I have a list. Anyway, uh, boost attack. Hmm. Yeah, screw you, Pierce. It's all going to Felix. I'm gonna fill him full of apples and peppers. Okay, well, let's put the pillar back where I had it. Put the pillar back where it was. That's just pillar talk. No, no, just, just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, did I forget to say Gygus Curse? Whoops. Well, I said it now. Gygus Curse! You cannot comprehend the true power of Gygus' attack. Anyway, up here, we've got a formation of stones, which means we got to use Reveal to get the Dancing Idol, which we will need for the dungeon pretty soon. Well, I mean, you don't need it to fight the boss, but you do need it to fight the boss with reasonable success chance. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, that's all we can do up here uh, on the exterior of Gaia Rock, so let's just retreat and head all the way back down to the bottom. Now we can actually go inside Gaia's Rock. Now you see these platforms over here? You gotta put the dancing doll on top of them. Or the dancing idol, rather. And then it'll open up those doors for us. See, so yeah, if you head up straight up the middle here, you'll be dead. So don't do that. Ooh, we've got more new enemies here. We've got Woodwalkers, and I think we've already run into the Mad Vermins before. Let's see, Woodwalkers... Yes, these guys are weak to fire. What a shock! Let's see... A good Cycle Beam ought to take care of these losers. I uh, should have had everyone attack the Woodwalker. Oh well. Got them all the same. Alright, let's head right first. Or left first, rather. I can direction properly. Okay, we're going the wrong direction. Good to know, game. This place looks a lot like Aqua Rock, or not Aqua Rock. 
more so like Aero's Rock than Aqua Rock, to be honest. I mean, it's got the same color scheme and everything. Well, fortunately, battles aren't exactly taking that long because we've got really good weapons. The enemies in Gaia Rock, not that hard. The boss is a different story. Let's see, you've got clay gargoyles here, just like how they were in the last game. Uh, these guys are weak to win. Or, clay gargoyles, rather. And they can also cast Mother Gaia, Guard, and they can use Ice Breath. Er, I almost said Ice Bracelet, but uh, no, that wouldn't be right. So anyway, let's keep on moving on. There we go. Gee, I wonder what we're supposed to do in the middle of this room. Summon Gygus, of course. Obviously. So let's see. Whoa! Ah, it creates a bunch of platforms for us to use. Very clever game. Very clever. Oh, holy crap! We're over time! Damn, I didn't even notice! I was just having so much fun with this. Anyway, uh... But can we save Kushinada from Yamata no Orochi himself? Er, the serpent. Rather. You'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play The Lost Age! See you guys then. You know, after we finish this battle that interrupted my outro. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole bunch. Okay, now for real, see you guys then.